It's time for a Yankee Rewind. I think I need to hit my LCS. I'm ready. Let's continue. All right. They're open. Cool. All right. I'm like a kid in the candy store right here. Looking at some gorgeous Morgan Carson City. Beautiful. Oh, and of course, these. Now we're looking at. Canadian Maple Leafs. Very cool. Oh. <laughs> Pavs, I don't know. They're probably three or four hundred dollars face. So we, we have the equivalent of a couple of bags at least anyway. Wow. Okay. He's gonna check for some scraps, see if he has any left. And um He's got Mercury's, but they're uh, part of a uh, someone who sold like hundreds of dollars of worth of face value and mixed in. He hasn't picked through it yet, which he has to, but he can get Benji's and Walker's for us, I think, and maybe pick through a few um, Mercs for us. So I can uh, take a look and see what these things cost me, and I can sell okay. them to you for that at my cost. Oh, wow. But um, I think. That was purchased when silver so was right around 16, so because they're out here. Okay, cool. All right, he's going back there to check out some other scraps, see if there's more. This is three nines, so I think IS is getting that. And we'll fight over these Canadians, and then we'll take a look at some, see what he has for Mercury Dimes. We got a couple more. Oh, that's a nice coal. Yeah, that one might see it in here. And then this guy, <laughs> FDR. Mm, triple nines. Yes. There we go. Yep, triple nine. Hmm. Let's see what I can get for those. All right. Let's see here. Mercs. So we've got ten dollars face in Merc, ten dollars face in Walkers. So that's a total of twenty. Please. So this is selling me for twelve one times twenty two forty two. For that and 16 each so another uh, 32 and 274 for that international stacker and I'm gonna pick up these Canadians unless he gets upset <laughs> uh, that's $85 here and then I'm gonna pick up I think a bunch of Benji's yeah let's, let's add some Benji's to this stack Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dollars. Yeah, wasn't that right? Yeah, I think so. Ninety. Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Okay. Cool. All right. Hmm. Well, this is mine. <laughs> And 
they used to give me like a Morgan dollar and uh, a Liberty nickel or something like that for your every, paper route every week. But I had to give that money to the paper company because I only got two cents, which is every day was a, I had thirty five customers, so every day was like seventy cents. So I had to um, buy these coins instead of giving them to the paper company, and um, so my father would loan me the money and so I could buy the coins, and I had to you know pay the paper company, and then I had to do slave labor for my father to pay off these to coins. To pay off the coins you know, you're you, buying? If you're working, it was, you were getting paid like 10 cents an hour if you're doing, you know, and he had these great big gardens. So I was, you know, digging around the gardens like all the time, all summer long and stuff. But, um, <laughs> I, you know, I really, you know, got to be pretty good at collecting coins. Well, uh -huh. at what the, age? Oh, I, I started, um, well, I, I started about probably when I was five. The thing I saw that was unusual in you change and I would, I'd go through my mother's purse and I'd pull out the things like Barbara Dimes and things. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, I'd put them aside and my father come home and I said, look what I found in Ma's purse. And he, so mm. he'd, he'd say, okay. <laughs> he'd say, okay? Uh, yeah, my dad say, would be like, he said, okay, now, what are you doing in Ma's yeah, purse? <laughs> if, you want to, if you want to keep these, you've got to, <sighs> this is what you have to do to be able to keep this going and everything. And my mother, you know, she used to see it her purse. She used to, when she found she things in change, she'd put them in her purse. Aww. But um, any case, the the fact is that I was a coin customer for many more years than I was a coin dealer. You know, I dealt with some of the worst human beings on the face of the planet. And I think if you, you know, if you look at some of the reviews that we have, you know, I decided to be the, a different kind of coin dealer. I try to treat everybody, in, including the drug addicts who come in and sell mm. the junk they found. That's sad. But, I'm just going to ask you, would you like to maybe throw something in there for our Mega Ga? Sure, we can do something like that. Oh, that would be awesome. That is, right here, Coin and Stamp Shop. There's Tim. He's an awesome guy. you got to check him out in Manchester, guys. All right, so yeah, thank you very much. What what would you like to do? What could you do for us? A choice right. of a nice shiny silver quarter, or a somewhat worn standing liberty quarter, but still with oh. a date. Oh no! <laughs> oh guys, <laughs> what's Yankee gonna do here? Oh, uh, you know I like the shine, but I have a feeling that a lot of people are gonna be yelling at me if I don't go with that standing. So I'm gonna go with the standing, Tim. Sounds good. That's awesome. Thank you so much for giving uh, that quarter to International Stackers Mega Gaw. Guys, you got to check it out. It's going to be live real soon. Hashtag Mega Gaw. Thanks again, Tim. Wow. Look at this. Wasn't that just awesome? Tim sponsored the Mega Gaw. But... How will I get it to him?